Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're going to look at this antique, humane, multi-catch mousetrap. You can catch a lot of mice in one night with this trap. They end up in this little cage over here. A really effective design. It's called the Delusion, and it was one of the most advertised mousetraps of the 19th and early 20th centuries. It was invented by John Morris in 1876, and it was initially made by the Morris Brothers, and then several other companies, Smith and & Eggy, and this one's made by Claudius Jones. It has a sticker still on it, the paper label. Claudius Jones named this trap the Delusion, and that was the first U.S. trademark given to a trap. Really cool history. It went on to be made by several other companies under different names, including Bonanza and Household, amongst several others. But the design's basically the same, and it works really well. What we have is multi-chambers in here. This little door flips up, and you can see a holding chamber, and then where they get caught. The way this works is there's a trigger mechanism right here, a little teeter-totter with a door that opens and closes. When the mouse goes in, it steps in the back of that and closes, and when they go in the back chamber, they release their weight and it opens again. You have a little bait station here that's barred off so the mice can't eat all of it, but you can put a big chunk of cheese or some bait in there. They'll come in there to get it, step on the trigger, and get closed behind them. Now there's a little hole here that leads to the second back chamber room and a little door here that goes up and down. So the mice go in there through the little door, opens up, and then comes through, and they can't get back out. And they're stuck in here, and another mouse is free to come on in. So I want to test this mouse trap out. It's really cool, and it's really simple design. Let's go test this out in the barn and see if we can catch some mice in this 141-year-old style mouse trap. I went to go check our antique delusion mousetrap in the barn last night and it's clear this is a great design that's capable of catching a lot of mice. You can see the little tail in there. The biggest flaw is that the holding compartment is so small. I don't know how many mice we have in here but they look like there's several crammed into the tight space. Now unfortunately with these multi-catch humane traps, when the mice get in there and become stressed in a confined area, they begin to kill and eat each other. It's not a hunger thing, it's just a response to being trapped. So I don't know how many are still alive or if any of them are still alive except for one. So we'll flip this up, let them out, and see how many mice we caught and how many are still alive. There's at least one big one there, two big ones. We'll let those go. And then there's one that's been eating, you can see down there. This one seems fine and we'll uh, send them on its way. There you go. Try to bite me. There's another one hiding below that dead mouse. We'll let it climb out. I'll even pull that dead one out so we can uh, get that other one to come out. This other one in here doesn't want to come out, so we'll kind of force it out with a stick. Thinks it's a good hiding spot down there. Let's pull him on out and let him go on his way. So here's the one mouse that they chewed to pieces. You can see that he went right through the skull and ate the brain. So that happens with these mice. It's pretty disgusting, but it's something that they do. But overall this trap worked great. Three mice in a night is not bad, especially for a trap that's 141 years old. What a great design and a cool trap.